So we'll do wheels now. Let's get that sun out of the way. Right, so we do some wheels. We fit in the sup rod ET350. Now full instructions, come in a small box, or put them together yourself. Put a simple here's the bracket, mountain bracket, solid, good firm bracket. Um pole, they come with your wheel axle. 20 mil axle and you just bolt them on. I gotta tighten them up. It's just split pin, nice big wheel. Um 200 pound. So I don't know what that is, but 150 kilo is the rating. And to be honest, if you're pulling more than 150 kilo up the beach, you need a trailer, I think, don't know. So I'll show you how to fit them. I've done that one. So I got a, a rough Yes, but I'll show you a tip what I do now with big wheels, especially on the bigger boats to help you pull them. Um, so, two seconds, get measurements here. So that one is 65 mil off the bottom of there. So what I done first but there was make sure that the clip inside that holds the floor and I'll show you that now in a minute. It doesn't hit the screw or anywhere near the screw that holds that on. So it should be all right this way. I'll just check. 65 mil is about by here. Yeah, and there's, there's no in here. So. We put that 65 mil. I will measure that again now for definite, but that's probably where we look into it. So Just mark him. Right, my part them. I mark him on the top as well because I want to show you something nice handy tip. This put a line by there so he's that's to have it straight. So when we come to drill, I'll show you a nice little tip that will help you out on the beach. Sorry if I was a bit close then. Um, yeah, so we'll go with that. I will mark our one here, because we're good on that. And now, see that clip there? I've removed it on that side, but I've got to remove that now. So, right, so we've undone our little uh, floor clip then. So now what we'll do, like I said, we've got him straight there. So we've got him, got him there, that's straight. But we don't want him straight. And the simple reason being, if he's straight, the weight will flatten the tire. And if you've got a big boat, then you will, you will know what I'm on about. So if you put him on an angle from the top line, Measure about five mil. So five mil. Look by ya. And we will tilt them five mil. I'll tell you why now. You'll fit that. Once your wheels are in, five mil, you've got a nice angle then. So If you were heavy load up the beach, if it was flat, you'd have a flat tyre. But having a bit of an angle will push the air to the side of the tyre and you'll still be able to pull with a good a good tyre. And it is actually easier to pull with a slight slant on and you've got less tyre traction on the sand. It's fabulous. It's a great idea. It's great. I've done it on a three now and it's been absolutely marvellous. 
that's the best tip I can give you with wheels. So now we'll drill him up. Uh, six mil, six mil bolt. Be not as heavy as duty as some of the wheels, but six mil, they seem to do the job. Um, stainless steel, five mil Allen bolt. Phone all the time. Don't answer it, they still don't take the end. But anyway, we're gonna drill up now. So measure the top one, give them a five mil slant, if you can see. There. It does sound a lot 5mm slant, but over the length of the wheel it is. And it is oh it's a game changer. It's an absolute game changer, especially with big wheels. You've got a big four stroke on the back, a lot of weight. Them tires at pressure will be flat. So on that angle it'll give you just disperse the air to the side of the tyre, keeping it fully inflated. It's fabulous. So in, in with this pack you add, with this, these wheels, give you a rubber. I usually put silicone in it, but um, there's no need really. You can if you want to be out of But um, I hope you can see, but yeah, I'm a bit crossed. But just thread them through, top and bottom. Put them in. Ten mil bolt, ten mil spanner, nuts and washers, Allen key, and then just. Wouldn't fully through and a bit tight. Maybe it'll not. If you've got a drill with Allen bolt or 10 mil socket, just easy enough anyway. So need to over tighten them neither you know see some people they tighten them how much you do indent the transom crack it and the last thing you want is water getting in the transom and rotting it inside out Right, so that, that's on. And I'll quickly show you now the other side. So, as you can see, some transoms, the bolts will are thinner, bolts will protrude. If you don't want to cut them down, get some plastic dip, 
or rubber paint plastic dip and it just takes the sharpness off so when you do fold the boat up it won't rip the floor or anything so I'll give us a clean up now and stick this back on and then I'll show you what the wheels are like fully attached